Today, we are talking about what is the greatest, bestest, most wonderful, the ultimate Canon camera on the market today. All right, I was in the YouTube comment sections late last night and I was thinking, cheapers, there just aren't enough mean comments. Why don't I make a video about the best Canon camera? Not really, it's just that I love to dream. And so I had this thought was, if I sold everything, which I'm not going to, but if I did sell everything and I was starting over with Canon and I could pick any camera in their lineup, which one would I pick? Now, side note, you don't need to upgrade your camera. It's just something that I love to dream about hobby, enthusiastic about it. So, you know, use whatever you have, work on your lighting, work on your skills, work on your storytelling. There's so many other things. But for me, when I was popping over the website and started looking through everything, I was thinking, hmm, we've got the SL2, we've got the ADD, we've got the 77D, we've got the 5D Mark IV, you've got the 6D Mark II, you've got the 7D, you've got the 1DX Mark II. You start looking through all the different cameras, it can be overwhelming. This is what I found. At the end of the day, the absolute best camera that Canon makes is the EOS M50. Uh, I just need to step in here really quick. Did you just say the M50? Brandon Washington? What are you doing in my video? You jumped in my video, I figured I'd jump in your video. Yeah, okay, okay, I guess it's fair. D did Kino Tika Dave do that magic trick to get you in here? Sure did. Of course you're here too. Hey, are you ever gonna show us that trick so we can jump into Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat's videos, pump our own channels? Can you keep a secret? Ah, uh, yes. So can I. Oh, come on. Fine, well, we did say we'd collaborate at NAB, so say your piece and then peace. Brandon. All right, so look, Justin, I appreciate you trying to say the M50 is great and everything, but does it really compare to something like the 1DX Mark II? I mean, clearly the 1DX Mark II is by far the best Canon camera that you can get. I mean, you've got 4K at 60 frames per second, 1080 at 120 frames. It takes amazing photos, amazing video. I mean, this camera is a beast. Now, yeah, I get the whole deal of it being a really big camera, but let's face it. If you want the best image quality possible, and you're also looking for something that's gonna have amazing battery life and not only on top of the battery life it's also just gonna give you everything you need in one single package can you really beat the 1dx mark ii yeah 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 brandon's got the 1dx mark ii sure it's nice new and fancy compared to my old 2012 1dc but my camera can do things that his can't one being that i have canon log it's an amazing picture profile that gives you up to 12 stops of dynamic range, and it matches the C300, the C100, and even some of the newer, fancier Canon cinema cameras. One thing that I've personally found is that the 1080p quality of the Super 35 mode on my 1DC is actually better quality than Brandon's full frame 1080p. Not to mention that M50 1080p, I'm sure that's just garbage. I mean, that camera is just a tiny little $700 little toy. The other thing that the 1DC has that the 1DX2 and the M50 definitely don't have is the ability to record without stopping. Internally on the camera shooting 4K and 1080p, I get continuous recording with that juicy mojo sexy Canon log. Also, my camera has a red C on it and yours don't. That automatically makes my camera better than yours. A red C. That's what you came up with? That's what I call grasping at straws. But whatever, thanks for your time, guys. Say goodbye to my channel. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. All right, thanks, boys. If you guys like their opinions better than mine, go watch their reviews. They're gonna be sharing longer form videos about why they feel like those are the best Canon cameras. But for me, a 1DC, five years old, it may have some valuable things to it. Motion JPEG though, 4K, 1DX as well. Really, Canon? Really? 1995 called, they want their Kodak back. But besides that, we can hum and haw about cameras and talk about all the different things, but it needs to be in the context of the video that you're creating. And for me, the videos that I'm creating, what matters is speed. That's what I care about the most is how can I create lots of good quality videos quickly? 
And that is the reason that I chose the M50 is, yes, you might get some slightly better dynamic range and the 1DC, I guess, unlimited recording time, that's, that's not something that I'm worried about. And even the, the pure, pure quality of video, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit so that I have a camera that is with me all of the time, ready to go, that I can actually afford, and even afford to break if that happened, to put it in situations to capture and tell really interesting stories. And other big time savers, the M50, aside from looking actually really, really good, you're gonna be in focus. Like I've just found that the focusing, the dual pixel is so good on this camera. The audio input, it just works. And it seems to be one of the cleaner Canon preamps that I've tried. It's got an audio limiter, so it's gonna, you know, kind of rein that back in if you need. You've got some good lenses, but again, the adapter that you can get really good lenses. The digital IS helps smooth out lenses, don't have image stabilization. The flip out screen means that I can frame everything up super, super quickly. I can do live streams with it. I can do those 4K time lapse. It's just such wild value. And stepping up a couple more notches to even, let's say, a 6D Mark II that has kind of everything that's the same. The only thing you're really getting there is a slightly bigger sensor. And yes, full frame and photo would be another part of the equation, but I'm just talking about video. And I don't feel like the video quality that I've seen out of a 6D Mark II justifies the upgrade because I actually like the video quality I'm seeing out of this even better. And going all the way up to a 1DX Mark II, well, there's the size and the weight of it that now I have to carry and lug that thing around everywhere. Plus the body and a lens, you're gonna be at almost $10,000. And obviously for what Brandon does, that makes sense because he's doing more than just YouTube style videos. And even for Dave, a lot of his stuff is a lot more sit down. He's not using that camera for vlogging, but for me, run and gun style, going around, this camera is so light, it's so easy to use. Two more batteries and a double charger are 30 bucks. You've got kind of all day run and gun ability without hurting your back, couple more lenses. It's just fantastic. So for me, M50, value is there. Anyway, thanks to Brandon and Dave for, I don't know, crashing my party. Check out their channels. We wanna collaborate a little bit more and kind of share the love and different perspectives because everybody has a different set of needs. I'm Justin, I wanna hear from you guys. What is your favorite Canon camera? If you don't have a Canon, tell me whatever camera it is. I love chatting in the comments. Peace.